Now I can go a step further and I, and I can adjust the sizing. So for instance, uh, some of these elements don't look great to me. I'd like it to be a little a little more uniform. Um, so what we can do is go to mesh sizing, say set to, if I highlight over this curve, I can see I've got eight elements uh, around this curve. If I look down here in Entity Info, I hover as I hover over, so this is eight um, and this is 14. And so what I can do is say, okay, I like the size of those 14 elements, so let me update to 14. And I've got this select button still selected. Right, and I can update, and now I've got a nice structured mesh around this hole and around the, the outside there. And I can do the same thing uh, to this hole. And then this, this one's a little bit different. Um, what I can do here, so down in Entity Info, it's telling me I have 10 and 11. Uh, but this is in a full circle, so I think I think 8 ought to do it. Yeah, and then I've... I don't, I don't have any bad trapezoids or triangular elements in there. Right? So, so these options, this meshing toolbox gives you a lot of live meshing control, a lot of uh, flexibility to, to really drive the mesh um, in the direction you want and make it, uh, customize it uh, to your liking. So one thing, I may not like the, uh, the aspect ratio of these, so I may uh, update the sizing to three on this edge. So if I select three, it recognizes that this is a pad and it goes ahead and updates the mesh in the whole pad, which is nice. Right? And so I can I can do that for all of these.